To make the cover for our mini album, we'll start out with two pieces of medium weight chipboard that are four and a half by six and a half. Those will be our covers. And then for the spine, I've cut a piece that's one and three eighths by four and a half. And we'll make sure that our stiffness is always going in the longest direction. So for the covers, that's horizontally. And for the spine, that would be vertical. To join these pieces, I'm just going to set the spine aside for a moment and then on the two covers I'm going to draw a one inch line I already did that on this side a one inch line um, on the side that's going to join for the spine. And then to join them I've cut a piece of cardstock that is four inches by six inches and I backed it completely with Tyvek and then I added a strip of 5 8 inch score tape to the top and the bottom and if you don't have 5 8 you can go ahead and add a half an inch and a quarter inch on each side and then on the sides I added 1 inch score tape and if you don't have 1 inch just use two pieces of half inch you want to have that 1 inch because that's what's going to align for the, with this 1 inch place on our covers. Now when we put this piece down we'll first just remove the score tape backing from the one inch section on one side and we'll center it vertically there should be about three quarters of an inch on the top and bottom and go ahead and get that um, attached. And I like to use the lines on my uh, grid mat to make sure everything is straight. And then once I attach it on one side I'll again make sure that everything is straight and I'll remove the score tape backing from the other side and attach it to um, this part. So I'll go ahead and get that done. Then once I have the two covers attached I of course burnish that down and then on the spine piece I've covered the back of it with some score tape and that piece will just get centered here and attached down and I like to just take my ruler and put that on the two covers and that will help me both get it centered and aligned here at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and get that burnished down. And then we'll flip this over and give it a good burnish. And then we'll turn it back over to this side. Remove this score tape backing and fold it over on both sides. Then once I have these folded over, I'll make sure that I have nice crisp edges and then go ahead and gently kind of burnish in between the places here where the spine meets the covers and that will encourage it to bend nicely and just slowly bend that and then I'm going to fill in in the center of this spine here with a piece of cardstock that I cut to one and five eighths by uh, three and a half that'll allow it to overlap a little bit here and just kind of finish off that center place. Give that a good burnish of course. And then finally just stand it up on its end and give it kind of a little squeeze here along the spine and run your fingers up and down there a little bit. And then to finish the edges of the covers, I've cut some strips of one inch cardstock, scored it in the middle and added some 3 8 inch uh, score tape to it. And then if you want to miter the corners or you can just overlap, if you want to miter just cut a 45 degree and then you'll be able to wrap it like this and then you can release it on the inside to get that finished. So go ahead and wrap all the um, remaining edges of the cover.
Our mini album has four pages and I'm going to call them A, B, C, and D. Now the A and D pieces are the same and the B and C pieces are the same. And the, we'll start with the A and D pieces and they are cut eight and three eighths by nine and one quarter. Eight and three eighths by nine and one quarter. So we have two pages that are cut to those and I'm going to start out with the nine and a quarter side along the top of my scoreboard and then I'm going to do some scoring at a half an inch five-eighths of an inch four and seven-eighths four and seven-eighths and then five Then I'm going to flip it. Now I have at the top here the eight and three quarter side, but I have the uh, half inch tab at the top right now. I'm going to score at two and then two and one eighth. Now piece D we start with the same scoring as we had for piece A and that was one half I've got the nine and a quarter at the top one half then five eighths then four and seven eighths and five this time we'll when we switch to the eight and three quarter side our half inch tab is at the bottom and we'll score at two and two and one eighth. Now this is the page with the half inch tab at the top and we're going to do a little cutting. We're going to come over to the um, line that's at two and one eighth and you can see I've inked that and then come down to the five eighths and that's, we'll remove this little rectangle up there and then down at the bottom we'll again come into the two and one eighth mark and then up here um, to the mark that's, that's um, above this eighth inch channel and we'll cut out this large rectangle down here so that we're, we end up with a tab here that is four and one quarter inches long. And then for the other piece, I've repeated the same process. It's just that that um, long tab is on the opposite end. So now I'm going to fold on all of these long horizontal score lines. Now once we fold on all those horizontal fold lines, what we're doing is we're creating a pocket here it's open at the end without this wide tab and it has an eighth inch channel on the top and the bottom and so on this half inch tab that I folded in I added three eighths inch score tape and I just kind of angled back the ends a little bit so they won't show at the top so I'll just go ahead and put that pocket together on both of my pages and now we can fold on these other fold lines and we're folding it so that it encloses the pocket so it comes around this way if this is my pocket right here. So fold on those two score lines. Now these folds that we just made they are going to end up being the tab that holds the first page and the last page to the covers. Now my paper that I'm using is a little flimsy so I'm going to reinforce it with some Tyvek. So I've cut a piece of Tyvek here that is two and a half inches wide by four and a quarter long. Two and a half by four and a quarter. And if my pocket is opening like this 
I'm going to put that on the back side, so the side where you do not see the pocket opening. I've just backed that with some score tape and I'll go ahead and put that on. It should overlap um, into the pocket area by about 3 8 of an inch. So line that edge up exactly and put that piece of Tyvek down on both sides. Now if you uh, feel that your paper is heavy enough that you don't need to reinforce it with a Tyvek, you can skip this step. And after I've got that Tyvek on both sides, I'm going to take this and I want to taper these corners where we just put the Tyvek on. We want to start from the um, crease line here from our 2 inch score and just you can use your craft mat and we're just going to angle it in until we hit uh, a quarter inch. So you, you can make a tick mark if you want to. That's a quarter of an inch in on each side down here and then come from that a two inch score mark and then just cut those uh, little angles off and do that for both sides. And that's our preliminary work on pages A and D so we can set those aside for now. Now for pieces B and C, we'll cut a piece of our cardstock that is four and a quarter by ten and three eighths. Four and one quarter by ten and three eighths. And with the ten and three eighths side at the top, we're going to score at one half inch, three quarters, seven and seven and one eighth. We'll do the same scoring on the other one, so let me just repeat those. One half, three quarters, seven, and seven and one eighth. Then we'll go ahead and crease on all of our score lines and when we crease this side flap that's larger here that's three and a quarter inches wide comes in one direction and at the opposite end where we have the one half and then the quarter inch channel they get folded in the opposite direction. So we have that kind of a page going on. And then to add some reinforcement to the tabs on these pages as well, I've cut some Tyvek and backed it with score tape and these pieces are cut one and one eighth inches wide by four and a quarter. One and one eighth by four and a quarter. And these get installed, if you're looking at the page like this, they go on the outside of this tab. So I'll put them on and then I'll show you again. Make sure that after you apply the Tyvek on here that you go ahead and burnish to reinforce those creases so you'll definitely be able to see them as we attach the pages together. And then add a piece of score tape on the half inch tab on each of the B and C pieces. Now we're ready to join A to B. This is my A piece and I know that because the, the pocket here I can see on front, the, here's the opening right here and the tab is over here to my left. And my B piece has, I can see the uh, score tape on my tab here and underneath is the flap. So these, the A gets attached to the C and where this, this piece of Tyvek we have right here should only be sticking there about 3 eighths of an inch. We're going to put this half inch tab on top of there so that we 
line everything up in the back and our we should see the eighth inch channel from page A and then we should see the quarter inch channel that's between A and B when we put this on. So now we should have a unit like this and uh, here's A with its flap off to the left the pocket is right here here's our B page with its flap facing towards the right and here's what it looks on the end an eighth inch channel and then a quarter inch channel so now we'll join C and D and this time I have the C piece on my left the pocket is under I mean the flap is underneath here's my channel with the score tape and it is going to go right onto this uh, short 3 8 inch side um, because this half inch tab will then cover up that Tyvek that we see there. Make sure that your creases are well burnished in here so that you'll be able to line them up and we'll put those two together just like we did the others. With, so we'll see an eighth inch channel and then a quarter inch channel. So to join these two units and into the four page mini album, I've cut a piece of cardstock that is an inch and a quarter by four and a quarter and I backed it with Tyvek and I'm going to score it at a half an inch and three quarters so that we end up with a quarter inch channel in the center. I'll go ahead and burnish in both of those creases and then add score tape on the two half inch tabs. And then we'll put the book together by first joining this uh, central hinge to the B page and then we'll turn around and join it to the C page. So that's the pages for our mini. We have a tab to join it to the cover here. Then we'll have a pocket, two pages to decorate here. Then the inside will have pages with flaps that come in. Two pages here. And then finally another pocket with the flap to attach it to the back cover. and everything is nicely reinforced with Tyvek and you can ink this especially where you might see any of the white of the Tyvek go ahead and ink that and ink it to your um, however you desire so to prevent the tags from uh, trying to come out this back end here I'm just going to run a little bead of glue right near that edge and make I am probably won't I'll run it from about here to here so that I don't um, have to uh, worry about these eighth inch channels on the end. So just a little tiny bead of glue right there at the end of the pocket. And then repeat that on the other pocket. And then to make it easier to pull the tags out of the pockets I'm going to punch a half circle using a three-quarter inch punch just in the center and I've made sure if, since I'm going to punch both sides at the same time that I have aligned my channels on both ends before I punch. To join our book block to the cover we need to put score tape on this back here and we'll start out by putting a piece of quarter inch score tape in that center centered um, channel there and then just fill in on either side of that quarter inch but make sure you put a quarter inch in the center there and then on our spine we're going to mark a center line and that center line is at 11 sixteenths 
which is uh, the sixteenth of an inch mark in between five eighths and three quarters. So just put a little light pencil line so that you can see that. And that will help us line up that center part of our book block. Now the pages in the book block are four and a quarter and the covers are four and a half. So we have an eighth of an inch space on the top and bottom to account for when we put this in. So we'll start by uh, removing the score tape from that middle section, just that quarter inch piece right there. And keeping in mind that eighth inch, go ahead and center that quarter inch thing using your little guidelines that you made. Just attach one end, and this here I'm just have it the bottom end attached and then I'll come up and attach the top end. And then once you have both ends attached, go ahead and burnish that whole length. Now we'll just work each side out from center. I've removed a little more score tape backing and I'll come to my next channel and go ahead and put that all the way down. Now when we get to this part that will cover up the um, space that's in between the spine and the covers, you want to take your time and burnish on the spine and then allow it to come down into this channel and burnish there and then back up on the end. So just kind of work your way along a little bit at a time. I'm just holding it up so that it doesn't engage prematurely and now I'm getting that channel burnished in and once I get that then I can put this end down and finish burnishing. Then I'll just flip the book around because I find it easier to work in this direction and repeat that process. Remove a little score tape backing at a time and when I get to this uh, channel between the spine and the cover. Make sure I burnish down in that channel as well. Then once you've done that, just gently bring your covers up so that you can fold around those bends in the spine. And now we're ready to decorate the mini album.